Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about a symbiosis. This symbiosis is not that symbiosis that you discuss in the biology. Biology also we have a one symbiosis. When two two organisms interact, both the inter both the organisms get benefited, mutually benefited. These are symbiosis, but that is different one, and this is. Uh, in chemistry, we will be discussing a different topic. So, sometimes this symbiosis is also referred as the application of HSAP principle. This symbiosis, it is proposed by Jorgensen in 1968. It states that when the heart ligands, which have tendency to attach with the middle ion, having the hard ligands and the soft ligand have a tendency to combine with the middle ion having a soft ligand. So suppose you have a uh, one type of example we will discuss. First statement says hard ligands which have a tendency or hard ligand have tendency to attach with the middle ion having a hard ligands. And soft ligand have a tendency to combine with the middle line having a soft ligand. So the example, like we will take a one very common example, that is, uh, you have boron trifluoride, right? So this boron trifluoride is a very hard acid, hard acid. It is a hard acid. So this boron trifluoride, it has a. If you see the structure, it is not the actually structure, but the something like this uh, F3 will be added since you know that boron is an atomic number 5 it has a 3 valence electron so all the 3 electron has been bonded but it has a it takes us a central metals so it has a central ligands so, th so it has a tendency to attach a metal ions it has a tendency it has a tendency power to accept metal ion so if you react with the um NH3 that is you know NH3 ammonia since ammonia it has nitrogen has atomic number 7 and valence electron is 5 so this it has a one long pair so when this ammonia it, it go and attack you form a complex this is a hard base right so this F3 N N H3 in this way you get a complex so this is a very stable complex. So according to this principle, hard ligands. So this hard acid is also considered as a hard ligand because this boron has a metal ion. It has a tendency. This metal ion has a tendency to accept a bonding with the uh, another hard ligands. One hard ligand. So this is also ligand. This is also ligand if we consider in the compound or in simple term. Another example you can take boron trifluoride when it react with the fluoride fluorine ion F minus so this is also a hard acid and hard base right so it will it is a this central metal ion has a tendency to accept electron so it, when it react PF4 will be formed so this is a stable complex boron tetrafluoride and another example like soft ligands have tendency to combine with metal having a soft ligand so we can take another one soft ligand examples if you take a um, pH3 when you react this boron hydride when it react with the hydrogen ion this is a soft soft acid this is soft acid and this is also soft base so soft ligands this is a soft ligand tendency to combine with the metal and having a soft ligand so it will go and then it attack with this and it gives the product so ph4 so this principle is a very simple concept sometimes it it, it is also application of hsfp principle so in examination you will come across what is the same biases give example so same biases is nothing i repeat it state that Heart ligands having a tendency to
to attach with the metal ion having a hard ligands and the soft ligands have always tendency to combine with the metals having a soft ligand. So this is about the same biases. So this is very simple concept but very important. Okay. So thank you everyone for watching the video. Okay. Thank you.